right so our seat heater isn't working here the back one is working but the seat part one isn't so I need to find out why so the first thing we'll do is we will raise the seat up All right. So we have a few connectors in here. This one just feels like a connection. Point, no controller, and this one seems to be the seat controller. So, which one is the element wires from the seat heaters? Okay, so on the all data manual, we have the control unit with memory. One for the left side, one for the right side, shown here, and then the other side where we saw like the connector block is your X55. So X55-4 is the right hand side, which is my driver's side. Okay, so the control module is showing the one with the all the multiple wires that are going into it. So our heater element one I think is over here. Um, don't unplug your seat when the battery is connected in. Uh, if you do that, I believe you have to have the seat reset with like a scan unit at the dealers, unless you have a scan unit that can reset the seat, part of the safety controls. So only disconnect some of this if you've disconnected the battery to the car first. So we have N32, which is the control unit for the seat. Can't see any elements. There's no elements connected, it only seems to do the motors for the movement of the seat. So here's the heater elements, R13, R13-4, okay, R13-3 is the seat heater, and as you can see the connected X55 block. They are not plugged into the seat control unit. And then it comes straight from the dashboard switch. You're in 72. So the switch on the dashboard sends power straight to the connection block. It splits, goes over to the other side of the element. So they're both connected. And then it comes up, connects here to the two heaters. And then it goes to your W19 earth connection. So it'll be bolted down to the chassis somewhere. So somewhere I have a break in the wire because I know this one heats. So obviously this part of the system is working. Obviously the ground part of the system is working. Somewhere just here we have a break in the system which we need to find. So the wire from the dashboard is BKVT. I suspect that's black violet maybe and then we got bn which i would say is brown and then we don't seem to have any color markings on these ones so we'll just have to look at the car and try and work that out okay so this is the big bunch of wires let's go back into the car down here you can't see all right and that seems to come around and connect to this one here so we've got black and violet and we've got brown. So this must be the two wires that come from the dashboard. And it's rather awkward. Then we've got these two wires here. Let me try. And this way. This wire here. This one here will be the one that goes to the seat heater. This one here runs down here. Will be the one that goes to the back heater. So they, both of those wires, plug 
into the back of this unit here. So there's two clips, clip on this side and a clip on this side. You can unplug that power supply to the seat heaters and then we'll do an ohms test here. So we've just got the meter set on ohms and then we're just going to check on these two pins down here what the ohms reading is. So you just want the top pin, the bottom pin, like so. Right. 2.4 ohms. Okay, on the passenger side, we'll do the same ohms test and see what reading we get over here. So, 1.4, 1.3. So a different difference. Okay, so we've plugged it back in. We've got the black wire, which should be the power feed wire, to the heated seaters, seats. Um, we've got it on amps. So now we'll turn it on. Turn it on at the dashboard here. Turn the ignition on. There we go. So we've got power now, and as you can see, we are at five, 4.9 amps. All right. Okay, so we're connected to the passenger side. And we will turn it on. Bit harder to see. Let me try and get so this side works with both, and we are at 9.5 amps. So when it first turned on, it was 10 amps. So there's three settings. You go the full. You're at nine amps. Yeah. Okay, let's repeat the test of doing the power button in the three different positions on the driver's side. So full. Down to half. So that was five amp on the other side. Down to one, which was a pulsating two or three amp down on the one setting. So, yeah. Off. So the controller is sending the power correct. It's definitely just the seat element wire is broken somewhere. Okay, so that means we need to pull all of this cushion part off to change the element or to try and fix it, which I don't think you can do if it's actually part of the element that's broken in the cushion part, you'd have to get another one. So I might have to see if we can get one from the wreckers or how much a new one is.